Quentin Raglis is the Channel 9 weatherman. He grew up in Eden Hills and he grew and he grew and he grew to a whopping 6 foot 4.5. To give you an idea how tall that is, that's 195 centimetres. Or to put it another way, you'd have to stack two and a half thousand of his almanacs on top of each other just to reach his head. But what is it this big hearted South Aussie lad loves about living in SA? I was born in Blackwood Hospital and did all my schooling with Blackwood Junior Primary, Blackwood Primary until I got too big for the desk and they moved me on to Blackwood High School. And would you believe living back in the area now, my wife and I moved up to Bilby Heights. We love it so much. Hayley and I, we love Rockford's, which is in the Barossa Valley, and whenever we go to the Barossa, we always make sure that we stop by Rockford's. Not only are they selling the wines there, but there's a lot of fresh produce from the local farms that we always end up stocking up on. Well, I've always had an interest in the railways and museums, so there's a, you can easily take the family to the National Railway Museum. Behind there is the Aviation Museum. They run some of the engines of the old aircraft. And then not much further from that is the Maritime Museum. So if you really want to get your kids ingrained in some of our transportation culture, and there's lots of fun, they can get to ride the trains, they get to play with planes and boats, well then the Maritime Museum, the National Railway Museum, and the Aviation Museum in the Port Adelaide area, you get away with that easy under 50 bucks. Here we are hanging out down at the Torrance. This area is called Linear Park and the good thing about it is there's a bike track that runs all the way from Tea Tree Plaza down to Henley Beach so you can go for a bit of a swim once you finish your bike ride. It's also really popular with joggers. There is tons of stuff to do down here and it doesn't have to cost you a cent. Simple stuff like feeding the ducks, going for a run, going for a walk or better still, hiring bikes for free. It's just over there. I'll show you where you can do it. This bloke here is the CEO of Bike SA. G'day. Christian, how are you mate? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, tell us about these free bikes. Look, uh, no doubt, Australia's best free bike hire scheme. City bikes, seven days a week, free hire all day, seven locations around the city. Just leave us your driver's licence, passport, for a deposit, and you're away. Did you get a helmet as well? Helmet, bike lock, everything you need. Bike lock as well. Geez, that's unreal. So who do you find does it, locals or tourists? Look, uh, this year we'll plug about 22,000 bike hides through, so very successful. About 60% of those will be interstate or international visitors. Uh, and the rest will be locals. See, what I want to encourage from this uh, whole segment is basically to get the locals of Adelaide to get off their backside. If you don't have a bike or if it's too logistically hard to bring your bike into the city, grab one of yours for free, just park the car. It's like four hours free parking just here, and then away you go for the afternoon. What if I get a puncher, mate? Whose fault? I mean, they're your bikes, but I'm hiring it. Well, you know, it's all free, Cozzy. Yep. So uh, if you're a fair way out, we'll even try and pick you up. Oh, jeez, that's good service. Very good service. Do you know the good thing about it is, not only can you hire bikes from here at the Par 3 Golf Course in North Adelaide, there are seven locations around the city where you can pick up a bike for free. You can go to Bicycle SA, Franklin Street in the city, Adelaide City Council, which is on Peary Street, and the Convention Centre on North Terrace, just to name a few. The good thing is you get the helmet, a bike lock and the bike for absolutely nothing. There's no reason why you shouldn't be doing this. It's awesome.